intended to come down for just one day, and then here we are washed up on Sunday because we're starting it so much. We rest up. We're actually stuck. The rest of the band went back in the van today and left us. So we're sort of begging around the campsite, being like, is anyone driving to the seaside tomorrow? But they're not. So they stay here. Well, they are. They just don't want us there. That's true. Wonderful. Yeah, it's been really emotional to us. It's like literally every single emotion except the fact and the sadness. Yeah. All the good ones, basically. I know. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It's sweaty and dusty. I'm very it's happy. Like it's over. Over. Yeah. Um, but it's our first time playing a festival, so pretty exciting. <laughs> trying to walk on trying to walk on stage with like the stage presence that we maybe used to have was very non-existent because I just kept stopping cheesing the whole time. Yeah, I felt very cheesy. Yeah. I just couldn't get like a grin off my face and like I was trying to be cool and I'm just not. Fucking rough. It was so much yeah, fun. It was, it was like a like festival. Is this, you know, is this band? It just didn't really feel like like up until I got on stage it didn't feel like we were playing and then I saw people coming in and I was like, oh yeah, this is a thing. Where no one's sitting I down. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Why is your yeah. fucking mouth? Well, yeah, where's your mouth? <laughs> what about the table service? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys are thirsty. <laughs> it has been uh, very uh, surreal, which is I'm sure not the first time uh, since she's at work. It's been exciting, overwhelming. I, I teared up at one point on stage. Um, and I guess uh, above everything else, it's been pretty damn amazing. This was my first ever festival that I ever came to because I won tickets for Pepsi Max Twitter in 2014. That's amazing. Um, and also, we, did, we played here a while ago. Um, on a stage that I'm told now doesn't exist. No longer exists. Which it's been wiped off the face of this fucking disgrace. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's me and Tiffy's first ever festival. Yeah, yeah. We've never been. Wait, wait. <laughs> 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 as, a, as, as this band, yeah. Yeah. it's my first time in yeah. ever. Yeah. 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 What's my first ever festival? I think it was mine. We broke many years as a child. Nine years ago. Yeah. Like to be inspired would be great. Like to start a band or just not even start a band, like do something they love to do. Like believe that they could possibly like make uh, a living out of it. That's what it's all about, I guess. Yeah. I think also just because I think my answer for that's changed purely just because it's our first gig back in so long was just to feel something again, <laughs> to be honest. That's a good a connection. Yeah. A connection with people. I think with festivals like this and when you're playing the kind of small stages it would be useful to get new fans. And I think we managed to get that from the show. Um, we want people to discover us and hopefully we are a bit favourite fan. For us it's very hard to pick a set list today because we've got a bunch of new songs and we're, and we're kind of, because we've got a new album coming out and sort of in that horrible period where you've sort of got to play with, you know, really excited to play all these new songs but nobody, you know, particularly at a festival uh, knows them and is potentially not interested in them either so it's that balance, you know, sort of, yeah, kind of in the, uh, in the hinterlands of the uh, new music, kind of new music pushing versus playing old crowd favourites. It wasn't, we just played the bangles. <laughs> <laughs> he said that, just played the bangles. Uh, we, we kind of only have practice, we haven't had that much rehearsal before this. So we only knew the songs we played. So was, yeah, we're pretty musically incompetent, so there's some from the new album that I think we wanted to hear, but we're just not thinking. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Uh, ours was easy because we like, kind of know what works now. We don't have any new songs, but well, not yet to play to, to put in the set list. Um, so yeah, it was like we just do what works. But also like play what the people want, which is like quite easy to do. After a lot of festivals are playing, you do just like learn that that's a festival set. To be fair, I was not expecting. I mean, when we did the line check, it was. Barren to say the least. Um, so I was like, wow, this is going to be one of them ones where it's just like, you know, a couple of kids running around, yeah. whatever. But what like, have you played? What are those kids running Some around? really empty ones, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, 
I mean... You played a lot of new songs, didn't you? Yeah, we didn't really, we didn't really do that. We didn't play why anyone really did. <laughs> yeah, because we wanted it to be... We didn't want to play any slow or, like, sad songs. Because we thought that's not what we're going to hear at 10 o'clock. So, yeah, we had to make it, like, more upbeat. Um, it's quite, like... It's pretty weird filling in for a band because you've got like everything to prove and nothing to lose at the same time. And so it's kind of just like I did. I, I was nervous. And then I just did people we have to like, Who are you? You're not PBA. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, but they were all new songs and you're a new band. Yeah, so we 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 we, we did play like. Our EP, which we released during lockdown, we've never played live. Like we played a couple of songs from that. The other, are a bit, the other ones were a bit too sad for a festival. But yeah, we played a lot of new songs, which was, I think, quite scary because usually when you play a gig, you maybe add like one or two new songs. But actually, I think, I think we just needed to do that because I feel like um, we've maybe, I feel like we've maybe stepped up a little bit. And we wanted to just kind of show. We wanted to showcase to people what we've been doing the whole time we were away. Yesterday, oh, I watched the vaccines earlier, which was I saw Jazz Master earlier. Oh, yeah. oh, they're amazing. God, I miss them. They're a great band. It's the best thing I've seen. We wanted to catch a bit of Rick Astley, but I saw no him, dice. I saw him drop. Never gonna give you up. Damn it! And I saw Bill Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Actually, Lucia played, and we both wrote a song together. Yeah, like, recently. yeah, I was just about to say that actually. Yeah, and, like Lucia plays um, that song, and like I lost my mind when she told me she was going to play. I was like, this is like a pocket this moment. Like, that was so sweet. And then got really emotional. And watched it. It was the first, we were the first band that you'd seen as well. Yeah, literally after. after yeah. Lost in life. So, um, yeah. Oh, that went really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were, we were. All right, let's go. I can't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll go for it. That was so well timed.